anything like I've lost my mind. This is a Holy Ghost church, isn't it? Yeah. I want to hear from you. Pray and pray. Choices fine, 
and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grace, and it brought forth wild grapes. Next verse. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and man of men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. Yes. What could have been done more to my vineyard than I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and shall be eaten up. Break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no more upon it. Is that the conclusion? Mm -hmm. that? For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts, the house of Israel, and the men of Judah is pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, and behold, oppression. Right righteousness but behold a cry these two Jesus was reaching back when he gave his parable and showing them that they had not produced fruit out of that vineyard that even he could gather because they had been intent on carrying out the work of seeking their own glory and not the glory of the husbandman of the vineyard. They, the fruit was not what they were producing. They didn't produce fruit for 1,500 years that Isaiah saw them as a vineyard that the Lord had worked patiently and made them the choice vine and hedged about them, kept the nations from coming in on them, raised them up, made them the head and not the tail. And he'd set watchmen, he'd set a wine press there where they, the priesthood of Israel, but they produced nothing but sour grapes. And that's a picture of what the church now is producing, sour grapes, as far as the vineyard that should be the vineyard of the Lord, but they've taken and not produced fruit, but they've abused the servants that came together the fruit down through the centuries of time in Israel for their law period, 1,500 years, they abused the prophets that would have gathered the fruit that they should have produced. But they couldn't produce it because they were sour. The wrong spirit, the wrong attitude, seeking their own glory and not the glory of Jehovah God. So when the sun came, they said, this is the heir. This is the heir. We know who he is. Did you know many people in Israel knew who Christ was? Among the priesthood? Among the Levitical priesthood, they knew who he was. But they would not admit they knew who he was. Their remedy was to seize him. And his brother Adolf so graphically and so well described tonight the tearing of his body apart on the cross when he was bearing our sins. Yes. And I thought about it tonight, how Israel could have produced fruit that was good. We can produce fruit in the church, right? Amen. Amen. But if we're not careful, if we don't watch ourselves, like this man said, we'll become sour. Yep. Amen. And then you know what happens? There's no cry of victory in the church. The seats won't be filled. The people will not be faithful. Those that was there Sunday, forget Wednesday night. I'm not going. Uh, uh, and if everybody says that, the church will never produce the fruit that it can. Uh, let them give. I'm not giving. Uh, I don't really want my brother to get a blessing tonight. He's, he's, he's getting too high. Let's cut him down. 
Let's cut him down. Yeah. We can do that in the church. Amen. And I've watched that spirit the last few years develop more and more and more. But I thank God there's a remnant. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. There is a remnant. Yes, there, is. there is a remnant yes, is. that's going to give him the glory. Yes. We're going to praise the Lord. Yes. We're going to rejoice because we have something to give him glory about. I, I have a reason to be happy tonight. I have a reason to give him praise. I'm, I'm so thankful I'm in this service. I'm, I'm so glad my soul is feeding tonight. From every basket that's got left, I've gained healing in my soul, my spirit. I'm encouraged. I'm strengthened. I don't want to be the husbandman that abuse the servants of God. I don't want to be the husbandman that wants to produce fruit for myself. It will become sour. I don't want to be the husbandman that would crucify the move of God and say, let's get rid of it. Because judgment, as Brother Carlson said, will eventually come upon the nations and upon the world and upon this nation because they, they that turn away from God, the nation that forgets God, the Bible said, shall be cast down into hell. And exactly the judgment comes to the nation that turns away and comes to a church or a movement or an individual that turns away and produces sour fruit instead of the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is love. Yes and joy yes. and peace yes. my goodness that's something to praise you yes. oh, yes. I'm, so, I'm so thrilled right now yes. praise the name oh, of the Lord yes. you don't have to get me to uh, you don't have to work on me to praise the Lord uh, I'm going to praise the Lord yes. and, 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 and comparing like he did he compared the world and its entertainment level yes. And there are people that resent that, yep. but uh, you know that's all right. You can't you can't spend your time discussing and arguing with people that gets a little upset because we say that we don't find life in the world. That's right. That's right. We don't find life in the world. Right. And if we do find life in the world, it's only false life. But my real life and my true life is in the people of God and with the family of God and with the church where the church is not going to have a revival, but we bring a revival. I believe David had a revival for every bear he killed and every lion he took care of. And I think he shouted over Goliath. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I think David said, Why, Israel, come on, out of your tents and get to dancing, you fellows, because Goliath has been destroyed. When we have a victorious service and the joy of the Lord is among us and the peace of God is here and the word of God comes forth with that and the word of God comes down our heart and I feel like I'm growing a mile a minute praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord glory to God glory to God glory to God glory to God praise the Lord hallelujah bless his name We aren't careful. If we aren't careful, we'll let a spirit of the age take hold of us or we'll shut our mouth instead of opening it. And the same person that shuts their mouth in the church has a difficult time saying, praise the Lord. They'll run home, turn the television on, get ESPN, and sit there. Give me a potato chip. <laughs> hey, you see him he knocked him down before he got in the end zone. But they couldn't say a word in the church. Praise the name of the Lord. Something is wrong with that picture. Because my life.
life is not in any of that. Right. My life is with you tonight here in the church where we're here to praise Jesus and exalt him. He's out of the grave. Praise him. He's coming back again. Praise him. He's the Lord of the living. Praise him. I dare say that, that probably... That, that's true. You, yes. That's true. You know it's true. Yes, sir. But we're gonna, we have a lively woman here in Bradenton, and uh, God is helping us, and God is blessing us. I, I was a little amused in my spirit tonight. I won't get too personal, but before I came in the building, uh, you know, uh, I was met by an individual, and uh, they said, we'd like to present uh, a program we're having in this community. I'm aware of the program because I sat through about two hours Saturday, last Saturday, listening to what they were having. And uh, I, I just said to them, because I knew the Holy Ghost wanted to work here tonight, and I knew that uh, that program it was, was not what this church needed. Amen. And I'm a shepherd of the sheep. Yes. And I knew not to put you all through the ringer with a program that would not bring the joy of the Lord in this house tonight. Hallelujah. But I was Hallelujah. nice about it. That was a good shepherd. And I was a, I was a charitable man. And I just said, uh, my brother, I've already, already, I've, I've been dealing with revival in our church. I said, we have a ministry here that deals with revival. And uh, we deal with what the Lord wants to do. And I said, uh, have you ever uh, thought about the cloud? that uh, Elijah's servant saw coming up out of the sea, a little cloud like a man's hand. He said, I'm not acquainted too much with that. He said, uh, I, I, have, uh, I have some things I want to talk about. And uh, I, 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 so I just watched it. I thought, well, but look, God does not work according to men. God works according to God. Amen, Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But I said, come on in and sit down with us and be with us and and, and uh, let us uh, worship together, and let's all just see what the Holy. I said, let's see what the Holy Ghost will say. <laughs> well, I certainly did all I could. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord, because you know, look, I want to hear from heaven right now. Amen. I want to be here where the Holy Ghost oh, opens yeah. up, Amen. Sister Tanya and comes upon you, and you as a handmaid, give us what God puts in your heart. I want to hear what Brother Carlson has in his heart. I want to hear what the little handmaiden over here has. I want this church to be open and free from a program that we're going somewhere they're going, but we hear what the Spirit is saying, and let the Spirit say to the church again what we have need of. Amen, brother. Amen. I believe we can if we'll just let the Lord have his way. Yes, yes, yes. I said if we'll let the Lord have his way. Yes, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Yes, I know the gospel, the word of God, what was said here tonight. Right, what God gave Brother Adolph, what yes. God gave Sister Brown, what God gave the ones that have risen to their feet. Yes. If you got on your feet, uh, God would have used you. I say this is what we need yes. right now yes. to bring the church into the joy of the Lord, the hope of the Lord. Just let the Holy Spirit, I, I, I feel the Holy Ghost wanting to break loose among us. And, oh my God, I can feel the Holy Ghost wanting to turn people loose and let them go. And I hear the voice of Jesus, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. Praise the name of the Lord.
going to stop until I say this. If you want to praise the Lord right now with me, God's going to let you leave here tonight with a healing in your body, with a hope in your heart, with a deliverance in your soul. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God.
brethren, let's receive our offering. And we're going to have a miracle offering. Usually churches give hardly anything until they wait until this time of the night.